Hey everyone, welcome to the demonstration of interface for Google's Gemini AI on Terminal. An innovative terminal-based application designed to boost productivity by empowering the terminal with Gemini AI. This app integrates with the Gemini API to provide an enhanced interactive experience for generating text with multimodal modals. With a simple command line interface, you can input text or images and receive coherent, tailored text outputs. For the best experience and a real productivity boost, try using the app with the Yakwake terminal. First, let's explore the text-to-text -text mode. This mode allows you to interact with a general chatbot, inputting text and receiving informative text responses. With code syntax highlighting and markdown formatting for a seamless interaction with a better user experience. Notice how seamless and intuitive the interaction is. Next, we have the multimodal mode. This mode allows text and image inputs for generating comprehensive text outputs. For this, you can manually type the image path or simply drag and drop the image to get the path or even extract the path from the clipboard by simply copying the path of file to the clipboard and pressing the enter key. To get started, first obtain your Gemini API key from AI Studio and paste it into the keys.json file. And if you are a Linux user, move the Gemini.conf.d directory into user slash local slash Etsy or keep it in the same directory as where the binary file is at. When it comes to installing the app, there are two ways you can do this. First method is download the binary file from the my GitHub and execute the binary file. Or clone the repository from GitHub and build it yourself. For Linux users, you can move the binary into slash user slash local slash bin directory. And use the Gemini AI as a standard Linux command. Or you can execute the binary file directly in the terminal. Furthermore, customize your experience with a variety of options including Gemini model, system instructions and generation configs, and more. Worried about safety? App includes settings to filter out harmful or inappropriate content, ensuring a safe user experience from the same config file. Those are optional and edit according to the documentation. For further details, visit the documentation on my GitHub. I will put links in the description. Comment your questions, suggestions, and improvements. Signing off for today, thanks for watching.